Hello and welcome to this course on machine learning applied to stock and crypto trading. This course has been a long time coming. I'm sure a lot of you already know who have done some of my courses before that I'm very passionate about this topic and have spent many years trying to find what models in machine learning can work really well with the stock market or the financial markets in general. Now this can work for stocks, for crypto, for bonds, for ETFs, for foreign exchange. These methodologies can be applied to such a vast array of data provided you have the data. Now, what are we going to cover in this course? There are four main phases. The first phase is the primer section. In that, we're going to just give a generic overview of machine learning and how it works just in general. Then we're going to go into Python 101, Pandas 101, Backtesting 101, Feature Engineering 101. And finally, we're going to go through just some general statistics around how you can tell if the asset you're trading moves randomly or not, whether there might be some inefficiency where you can gain an edge. Then we move into the next three phases, and this is where the real meat of the course is. The first phase is unsupervised machine learning. Here we're going to learn how to find relationships in our data. We're going to use hidden Markov models to detect whether or not the market's in a certain regime. Then we move into k-means clustering. We use this to cluster data on the NASDAQ ETFs to find out which of the 200 ETFs we track are great for pairs trading. And then we take that a level further and we go and calculate statistical arbitrage methods on that for mean reversion. In other words, we find out which of those pairs mathematically act like they're tied together and therefore the gap between them and the gap between their prices should revert. So you can go long on one, short on the other and therefore make a net profit. After doing k-means clustering, we move on to principal component analysis for dimensionality reduction. What does that mean? Well, that simply means that we give some data every single indicator under the sun that we can add to it and then we see can we make predictions with that data using supervised machine learning after we've deployed principal component analysis to retain 80% of the information in that data and reduce it from like 50 data points down to like seven or eight. It's a very powerful method right there. You can use that for a lot. By this time, we've already practiced some supervised machine learning, but then we get really into the depths of random forests and XGBoost. And we go and use these classifiers to essentially go and make predictions that we want to come up with. I show you how to set a target of something you want to predict in the future and train your model to find relationships between your data and what it is you want to predict. And how to do that with an edge that beats the 50-50 odds you would generally expect to get from the financial markets. So once we've done with supervised machine learning, we then go a level deeper into deep learning to understand how do similar principles apply with neural networks. Now we only touch on that briefly because we need to know it for the next phase. And the next phase is reinforcement learning, where we learn how to actually train an algorithm to learn to trade by itself without being taught anything, just by being given rewards and a trading environment. Now, if none of this made much sense to you, but you've been interested in machine learning applied to trading, you've dabbled with Python, you know some trading, and you really want to advance your knowledge on the markets, this course is perfect for you. However, if you're a data scientist and you're somebody who's looking for the math and all the details around the intricacies of how all these models work, I can't help you. I've been using them for years and I don't know all the intricacies of how they work. So I'm not qualified to tell you that. But I do know the application, I do know the problem they solve and I know high level how they work. So that's what I'm gonna take you through. Now, if you're also looking to get super rich from this because you're going to deploy some AI and machine learning to trading, unfortunately, again, I need to disappoint you. This is not the course for you. There's no free lunch. We still have to work for our money here. We still have to do a lot of independent research. However, I am certain that you will find this course very enlightening and some of the insights that we uncover just in the training material alone will really surprise you and I hope really excite you. Now the material all comes with the course. So all resources, all the code, everything is inside. Years of work, years of learning, years of research, 
All the code is there in the style of Jupyter Notebooks. So we're going to be using Python in the form of Jupyter Notebooks. You can run the same code in any Python environment. I do recommend that we use Jupyter Notebooks, but if you struggle with Python packages and you're kind of new to Python and getting things working, which can be tricky sometimes, I also show you how you can use Google Colab to follow along with the code as well and import all the pre-built code anyway, so that you can just follow along and go with the course. Now, if this all sounds good to you and you're as excited as I am, then I'm looking forward to seeing you on the other side.